Today I'm gonna to teach you a skill that you should have been taught when you were a child, but probably weren't, how to be sad. Everyone feels sad sometimes. It is an inevitable part of the human experience, usually elicited by a loss or a disappointment. The purpose of sadness is to make us more reflective, helping us to process the experiences that we've had so that we can eventually move on from them. You can't skip sadness or ignore it. You have to experience it. And if you try and suppress it, it'll usually come out in other ways in the future. It's also an emotion that tells other people that you need help. Some scientists have argued that the facial expressions associated with sadness send a signal to others, telling them I need love, I need care, I need support. When we're not given that love or if we try and skip over sadness, it can often morph into anger. It can be much easier to feel angry than it is to come face to face with our pain and suffering. When you're sad, you need love. You can ask for it from other people and here are a few scripts that you can use. I feel sad. Can I have a hug? Do you have a few minutes to listen to me talk about something I'm sad about? I really want to tell you how I'm feeling but I don't want advice or to be cheered up. I just want to feel loved. Can you do that for me? I've been hiding my sadness from you but I just learned that this is getting in the way of the help that I need. Can I share it with you? You can give love to yourself too. There is a part of you that has the ability to offer yourself unconditional love and that's what we want to tap into. Ask yourself, what do I really need to hear right now? Whatever comes up, say it to yourself. If you don't know the answer, flip it around. If there was somebody there with you right now, what do you wish they would say to you? Another incredible tool is to ask yourself, if I was somebody who loved myself unconditionally, what would I do right now? Again, do whatever comes up. There are so many different ways to love yourself. There is no wrong way. It's just about figuring out what you need in this moment. The most important thing to remember is that sadness means that you need love.